Now to another troubled part of the world, the Central African Republic, where a new leader is in charge. The country's parliament elected Catherine Samba Panza as interim president in a second round runoff Monday. She has been the mayor of the capital city, Bangui, and she replaces a rebel leader who seized power last year. Now that plunged the country into chaos and deadly fighting. The UN says now the Central African Republic has an opportunity for a new beginning. A transitional parliament voted her in to succeed Michel Jotodia, the leader of the Salika rebels who seized power in March. He stepped down in January after failing to put an end to interreligious clashes. Many hope the election of an interim president with no links to either the Muslim Salika rebels or anti-Balaka Christian militia will help to restore calm to the nation. France deployed 1,600 troops to its former colony in December, but has failed to halt the violence, which UN officials say has killed more than 2,000 people. I launch a strong appeal to my children in the anti-Balaka movement. Send a signal by putting down your guns. And to my children who are in the Seleka movement, also put down your guns. Her speech was well received, perhaps especially by women. Until now, the most senior political positions in this country have always been held by men. Catherine Zamba Panza takes on an enormous responsibility. She is the head of state in a country where the government has essentially ceased to exist. If she is to succeed, she will need the support of the international community. The new president was showered with messages of goodwill. In a country that is poised on the edge of an abyss, this was a welcome day of hope. The violence um, in bringing a more a peaceful situation in the Central African Republic is going to be the priority for the uh, new interim president over the weekend. The weekend has been deadly, whether it is in the capital, Bangui, where you probably uh, saw the pictures of, gruesome pictures of uh, bodies being burnt just outside on the, on the street, and uh, even in other regions of uh, the country, uh, it has been a very deadly weekend. So obviously the priority for the new interim president will be uh, to bring peace and uh, to restore as well the uh, institution's credibility in the Central African Republic.